Frank Proctor from The Way of the Gun is going to be doing some shooting from 100 to 300 yards with various optics and let us stretch the legs of that carbine just a little bit. Hey, what's up, y'all? Frank Proctor with Way of the Gun Performance Shooting. Back at the range one more time. Uh, today, what we're going to cover is a little mid to long range shooting, some techniques there um, with the AR-15 platform. Uh, we'll talk about, a little bit about some different optics as well. Rule number one here, all right, a really easy uh, formula. We need stability, all right? Whether it's mid-range stuff, and I'm kind of defining that, you know, uh, 100 to, uh, to 300 yards or meters. Um, very capable platform with, with red dot sights or iron sights on practical size targets, you know, 12-inch size targets, out to those distances. You throw some glass on it, throw some better bullets in there, like I've said before in some other episodes, this is a 700-meter rifle, okay? Uh, right now, we're gonna be dealing with the mid-range aspect, like say, 100 to 300 meters. For any of those, uh, those types of shooting, we need stability, okay? Stability for that initial shot, okay? We need to keep the rifle stable enough that the sights stay on the target. Um, and then we also need to be able to get enough stability to where if we need to deliver multiple rounds on that target, the gun doesn't move around. Um, if we're talking about magnified optics or even in the case of uh, non-magnified optics, you know, if, the, if the, the background we're shooting at or what's around the target, so if we're off on wind or um, range or something like that, if we can keep the gun stable and see where the round impacted, well, hey, we know what happened. All right? We know how to fix it then. Okay? So that's another reason why stability is going to be important. Now, ways to get stability. Real easy formula, stability is created by points of contact. Try to increase the number of points of contact you have. If you find yourself with a point of contact, try to find two. If you get two, try to find three. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw some ear pro on, maybe shoot some of these as we roll through there. All right, so we'll work off of this rock, which is some pretty natural terrain. It's out there in a lot of places that uh, dudes are working these days, uh, maybe even hunting, uh, what have you, okay? And find this kind of stuff at three gun matches as well. So if we can get some uh, stability, get the rail in contact there. Hey, there's one point of contact. If we can push the magazine in and load into something we're using for stability, we'll be able to wedge the gun in there and vice it in and get even more stable. That's cool too. So there's one, two points of contact, three points of contact. If you can find a way to soak your body into it as well and get some stability, that'll help you out as well. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get loaded in here and shoot a couple shots. All right, cool. All right, so we're able to get nice and stable there. You look at, uh, let's try that again there. All right, groovy, all right. 150, you need to hold just a fuzz under on that guy there. Now, that's a way to get some stability over the top of something. Let's jump over here and look at some C-clamp action. All right, C-clamp gets its name because we make a C with our hand. Let's go ahead and go kneeling. We'll put that firing side knee up so we can get another point of contact. So we make a little C with our hand, load that into something that we're using for support, maybe cover as well. Um, get a hold of the rifle, clamp it back in, and we can kind of load back into it and increase our stability. With, uh, with the sling attached out here on the front, we can lift our hand up, wrap once, twice, get another point of contact, get a little bit more extra stability in there, and really load into the gun, okay? Got more points of contact, get nice and stable. All right, we're able to deliver some accurate fire if we need to, multiple rounds if we got to. And then we can jump on down here and look at the prone, okay? Um, magazine prone, we'll cover a couple different types of prone, all right? Magazine prone. We're straight down and behind the gun, just like we were when we were standing up. Um, a lot of us behind the gun to help us kind of control it. Get that magazine in contact with the ground. I like to dig it in a little bit, and then we can kind of load forward with that shoulder. All right, so we got one, two, three, four points of contact with the whole body on the ground. And with that mag dug in, we can really load into the gun and get some pretty solid stability out of this. Based on the ammo and uh, you know what you've got for optics, I've worked this thing out to 700 meters on the LaRue targets with good glass and optics. Very stable, okay? So we'll blast around out here and see how we do. All right. All right. Able to get nice and stable there by loading into the gun there. <laughs> Some. An issue with uh, muzzle devices is we get lower to the ground there, we start slinging some stuff around. Hey, it's not going to keep you from shooting. Um, and here's another variation of that prone. If we need to get a little bit lower and get underneath something like the other side of this log there or whatever, we can kind of angle the gun down here and get a little bit lower. We need to get even lower than that. We can roll over to our side, get that arm underneath there, get a little bit more stability out of, out of the gun there than, rather than just kind of floating it around and get into a space that we could work if we had to. Well, that's a little bit of uh, some technique stuff on uh, mid and long range shooting. 
more stability, created by more points of contact. That's what we got for now. We'll see y'all next time. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Caltech, Troy Industries, Troy Defense, Talon Ordnance, Eagle Shield, Nemo Arms, Fax and Firearms, Copus Mobile, Black Forge Weapons, Battle Rifle Company, Vertex, Wiley X, Dark Angel, and Meredith Rifles. I'd like to dedicate this show to the memory of my good friend, Technical Sergeant William H. Jefferson Jr., Will. He was a combat controller in the United States Air Force. Closed caption provided by Wiley X.